To find the oxidation numbers for FeNO3-2, that's iron 2 nitrate, we'll use these rules here and some simple math. So starting out, this whole compound, it's a neutral compound. It's neutral because there's no plus or minus charge up here like with an ion. So this is a neutral compound. All of the oxidation numbers, they need to add up to zero. So that'll help us find out the oxidation number on the Fe here. So the first thing to look at is this nitrate here, because with iron, that can have different oxidation numbers. It really depends what it's bonded to. So we can look at the nitrate, and we can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, because with an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to its charge. So if we can find the charge on the NO3, on the nitrate, we'll know its oxidation number just for this whole thing here. So let's look at a table of common polyatomic ions. And if we look down here, here is nitrate. And that has a minus, so that's a minus one. That's the oxidation number. So let's put our minus one up here. This applies to this whole nitrate here. So two times minus one, this whole thing's minus two. The iron has to be plus two for this to all add up to zero for it to be a neutral compound. And we can check that algebraically if we like. We could say we don't know what X is, plus we have a minus one, that's the oxidation number on all of the elements here in this nitrate, times two, and that should equal the zero here. If we do that, we have X and this minus two, we'll add plus two to both sides. So we'll get two over here when we solve for X or plus two, if you like. And that's what we found before for the oxidation number for the Fe here and the FeNO3 2. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for iron 2 nitrate, FeNO3 2. Thanks for watching.